Hi guys, just uh, to show you something very quickly. Sometimes when the aeroplane is not completely fully loaded with cargo, as it is today, this is a Boeing 747-400 ERF, so the uh, cargo is loaded in the midsection of the aircraft because it's a short sector, we're going to Shanghai, and the main reason, of course, we're going to Shanghai is to pick up a full load of cargo. But if the aeroplane is not full, sometimes you get on board and the aeroplane is loaded and there's a section in front of the aeroplane and a section at the rear of the aircraft that has no cargo loaded. So I'll show you very quickly what I mean. So this is the, uh, this is the side cargo door here, this one. That's the side cargo door. And as you can see, there's cargo loaded that's the front of the aeroplane there. There's cargo loaded here. And, and then this whole section here, about uh, one, two, three, four, about four positions and the fifth one at the back has got no cargo on them. Just walking to the back here is the uh, rear pressure bulkhead. And there's also a rear door, L5, which is here. It's an emergency exit with an escape rope there is no slide so if you come out here you just pull the rope out and just get yourself down to the ground using the escape rope the rear pressure bulkhead as you can see is a curved structure because it's part of the entire aeroplane and aluminium structure of the aeroplane so it's a you know it's a tube so it's pressurized and the best way to keep a pressurized container is to make it a curved so it's curved as you can see there as i was saying the main thing i'm showing you this is when the aeroplane is not full with cargo and some positions are left empty they generally load the cargo in the middle of the aircraft because that gives it a better balance uh, and c of g but the empty position at the back to protect the cargo from shifting one of the checks we do is we come here and make sure that all the empty positions, the uh, locks are up. So this is a cargo lock, as you can see. You know, it comes down like that. Yeah. So I have to lift it and put it down. So that's locked. So all the cargo positions and he's are locked as well. These are completely immovable it can, if you look from the side there it is so these cargo positions lock the cargo in place but for the empty positions all the locks must be up as well so i'll show you so this is an empty position for example all the locks are still up as if the cargo pallet was there as well so if i show you from the side all the lock positions are up there are some more, and these, this one as well. So if a pallet moves from the front, it has to come and hit that. If that fails, it's got to come and hit that, and these. So all along there, the empty positions, all the locks must be up. So that at takeoff, when the airplane rotates and the nose is up that way, this cargo does not shift or if it does all the locks are in place to stop it moving any further all of them they're all in place they're all up to make sure the cargo is locked similarly if i walk to the front with you so i'm just going to the front now i'll show you so the aeroplane is loaded in the midsection, like I said. And the front, that's the front of the aeroplane. There's a the front door that you come in called L1. So again, that section has got no cargo on it, but we've got to make sure all the locks are up in every position, as you can see. There's the locks again. Again, it's if this cargo were to shift and slide forward in a descent, for example, 
they need to come up against that lock and all the locks in the position so it would have to break every single lock to go forward which would shift the CG position and affect the balance of the aircraft depending on the pitch attitude that the airplane had so very important to make sure before departure one of the pilots comes down just make sure if there are any empty positions we make sure all the locks are up this is all done by the cargo staff anyway but as a double check the crew before departure one of us just comes down make sure that's the case because it's pretty important i think i need and say how important it is especially for takeoff if the cargo load was to shift all the way aft so do the pilots check the actual weight of the, of the cargo that's loaded? No, that's done by load control. But what we do check is that safety feature, making sure that the airplane is safe with the cargo load not being able to shift. There you go. Now you know some of the things we have to do later.